Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of animation inspired by the one and only Eman Gadji. Get ready to unlock the secrets behind his mesmerizing style. Without wasting any time, let's dive straight into the creative process. So, to bring this animation to life, we'll need a variety of assets. These include the bus itself, a black grid layout for the ground, a vibrant red background, and, of course, no city scene would be complete without a bus stop board. And finally, we'll add some text elements to provide context and enhance the narrative of our animation using Canva. With these assets in hand, we'll be well equipped to bring our Eamon Gadji inspired animation to life. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started on this exciting creative journey. Now, let's move over to the CapCut file. Drag the red background onto the timeline and adjust the blend property to screen. Lower the opacity to 10% and set Y to 239 under the position settings. Next, navigate to the Mask tab and choose Horizontal Mask. Change Y to negative 224 and set the Feather to 100. After that, bring the grid onto the timeline and scale it to 350%. Set the opacity to 91%. Now, it's time for animation. Let's embark on a journey of movement and creativity. Begin by placing the first keyframe at the starting point, X at 450 and Y at negative 979. As we progress, 29 frames forward, X shifts to negative 647. Another leap, 71 frames ahead, maintaining the same values. Finally, after 47 more frames, we reach our destination, X resting at negative 1384. Now to ensure seamless flow, press Alt plus K for keyframe graphs. Skipping over to the second keyframe, select Auto Curve for a smooth transition. Let's breathe life into our scene. Let's introduce the bus onto the timeline, scaling it to 87%. For animation, move to the very beginning of the layer. Here, place the first keyframe for position, shifting X to negative 3329 and Y to zero. As we progress, 60 frames forward, both X and Y, find their equilibrium at zero. To achieve a smooth deceleration effect, let's adjust the graph property to auto curve, which will cause the slow stopping of bus. It's time to add the bus stop sign to the timeline, scaling it down to 38%. Now, for animation, let's place keyframes for the position. At the initial point, set X to 3168 and Y to negative 544. Progressing, 29 frames forward, place the second keyframe with X at 768 while maintaining the Y position. After that, move 71 frames forward for the third keyframe, keeping the values of X and Y consistent. To conclude, the last keyframe positions the sign 47 frames forward with X at negative 775. To ensure smooth transitions, let's set the graph property for the second and third keyframes to auto curve. Now, for the final segment, we'll need some text. Head over to Canva, create a new file, and let's set the stage with a sky blue background. Picture perfect, isn't it? Now, let's add a sleek square with curved edges, giving it that modern flair. Resize it to a height of 124 and a width of 733, because we're all about precision here. Now, let's spice things up. Head to the Elements tab and hunt down that iconic dollar sign. Once you've found it, Drop it onto the canvas and position it like a pro, snugly nestled on the left side of our square. But wait, we're not done yet. It's time to inject some personality into our creation. Add your chosen text inside the square, making it pop with a font size of 52 and the classic Arial font family. Ah, perfection. Last but not least, hit that download button and import our masterpiece in glorious image format and follow the same process for the other two text. If you find difficulty in finding and creating assets, don't worry, I will provide you with the link in the description. You can download it from there. All right, moving forward. At 0.09 seconds on the timeline, place the first text and ensure it aligns with the length of other layers. Now, head to the Cutout tab and select the Chroma Key option. Choose the background color of the text and boost the strength to six for better clarity. Back in the Video tab, adjust the scale to 65% and position it at X negative 293 and Y 752. Finally, apply the slide down in animation with the default duration. 
Let's keep the momentum going. Duplicate the layer twice and let's jazz up the scene. Grab the second layer of text, tweak the X coordinate to 105, slot in your second text, and dial up the animation duration to a cool one second. Now, for the third layer, shift its X coordinate to 1326, introduce your third text, and extend the duration to a smooth 1.5 seconds. And there you have it, folks. We've crafted a dynamic animation scene reminiscent of Eman Gaji's style, right here in CapCut. Remember, practice makes perfect, so dive into your own projects, experiment, and unleash your creativity. Stay tuned for more tutorials and challenges, and don't forget to share your creations with us on Instagram for a chance to be featured on website. Until next time, happy editing.